In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how computers do randomness. So true randomness includes processes like flipping a coin or rolling a pair of dice or drawing a card from a shuffled deck. Other examples in nature include radioactive decay or the weather. But true randomness is hard to do on a computer. So computers use what's known as pseudo-randomness. In fact, computers simulate randomness using algorithms, and the algorithms generate a sequence of numbers that looks random. For example, this short sequence here looks somewhat random. Computers use what's known as a pseudo-random number generator, purpose of which is to generate random-looking sequences of numbers. So here's an example of a PRNG. Typically, you would give the PRNG a seed that would start a sequence of numbers, and then it contains a formula to go from the current number and produce the next number. Each time you say, give me the next number, it will produce another number in the sequence. And these kinds of PRNGs are useful in cryptography, in computer games, and simulations, and models of the weather, in uh, casino machines, and so forth. In App Inventor, the random integer block that we use, as you've seen, will give us a random number in a range. So if we say from 1 to 100, it will give us a number such as 50. And it does so by calling on the built-in PRNG in App Inventor. So let's see how a PRNG works. We need a formula that calculates the next number in a sequence given the current number. For example, if we had a PRNG with the number 10 as the current number, it might produce the number 21. Here's a formula that will give us that result. So, for example, if x1 is 10, then 10 times 2 plus 1 gives us 21, which is x2. That's the kind of formula we need. Let's generalize our formula a little bit. We'll make the, uh, the notation a little more abstract. We'll let x sub i stand for the current number and x sub i plus 1 the next number. So if, we, if x sub i is 10, then x sub i plus 1 is 10 times 2 plus 1, 21. If x sub i is 21, x sub i plus 1 is 43. If x sub i is 43, x sub i plus 1 is 87, and so forth. So if we continue in this way, we'll produce a sequence of numbers. Now, this formula, this very simple formula we've got, produces a sequence that isn't really very random looking. For example, the numbers keep getting larger. As you can tell from this formula, they're going to just keep getting larger. So that's not a very random looking sequence. But just to make sure you understand this formula and how it works, I'm going to pause here and give you a couple of simple problems to do.